Okay, here we have a brand new MacBook Air 13 inch and I just want to prove that Web Converger can run just inserted a USB stick there and that comes up as a, as a little folder here um, I just want to prove that Web Converger can work on even these sort of like new machines surprisingly well so even though we're based on Debian stable the support uh, that Linux gives um, on PCs applies to, well, the the Mac Intels too, which is great. So let me just reboot OS X. Oh, I, it's important to add here, I've installed a bootloader called Refind, and it's pretty clever. It can detect uh, Linux partitions on different uh, removable drives. So Refine should start here. I've got an Arch install already. But what we're going to do is boot from this USB stick. Uh, another thing I should add is that I am using a USB Ethernet adapter. So um, to save setting up the wireless in advance. The wireless um, in this case might probably won't work. It's not supported by the Linux kernel yet. But let me just show you, I mean this this USB gigabit adapter is supported out the box. Let me just go with the defaults, enter. So you can deploy um, Web Converger on these latest machines if you had to. I would probably use an older machine uh, or something cheaper than a MacBook Air, but it's great that there's out of the box support for it. I haven't set up a configuration, so it's going to just start up unconfigured, as it does. And uh, yeah, it works. I'm just going to uh, navigate to YouTube so I can show you that, uh, for example, video playback works and stuff like that. Uh, load. So can you hear that? That's Shakira. Anyway. Close this tab and close that and everything is zapped and clean again. So I work Verger works on the MacBook Air. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.